Christmas morning when you like, I got presents coming. It's a little feeling right there. Well, I have it now because, man, do we have a big game today. It's the students and their teachers from Foundation Collegiate Academy in Mercer County. They just entered the classroom. The show where students go head to head with their favorite teachers. Uh, I'd say, did they show up? But Jersey showed up. What's up, everybody? They made the way into Philly, and they should, because what's on the line today? Well, that's 500 big ones and bragging rights for the rest of eternity. Before we meet our contestants, I'm calling it right now. It's a pop quiz. All righty, let's do it, teams. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to bank you 10 points. You buzz in first. Just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, your whole team's locked out. The other side's going to have a chance to buzz in and steal the points. Everyone's just smiling at each other on this team over here. I'm loving it, guys. Let's play this game. Here we go. What is the absolute value of negative nine? Jackie. Nine. There it is. What is the name of the 2019 Jordan Peele horror movie about a family terrorized by their doppelgangers? Miss Stone. Get out. For the steals. Julio. Us. There it is. And you guys get those points. What metal has the chemical symbol PB? Seth. Lead. Lead is right. Students, good job. The Spanish phrase Feliz Cumpleaños translates to what in English? Here we go, Miss Hawk. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday to you too. In what state was Martin Luther King Jr. assassinated? Seth. Tennessee. Ten I see right over there, baby. Wow. Good job. Typically in a 52 card standard deck of playing cards, hearts and diamonds are printed in what color? Miss Bradshaw. Red. Welcome to the game. There she is. How many NBA teams are in the state of New York? Miss Bradshaw. Two. Dose is right. Knicks and the Nets. And you were on fire. Extra credit question. Here's the double. Who was the subject of a painting titled Seth Portrait of a Bandaged Ear? Jackie. Vincent Van Gogh. Yeah, and you nailed it. It's self-portrait with bandaged ears. Excuse me. The island state of Malta is located in what sea? Tough question. Uh, Julio. Sorry, the Mediterranean. Mediterranean, and he's polite. How about that? <laughs> Fry, Leela, and Bender are characters in what animated TV show? Jackie. Futurama. Futurama, great show, by the way. In a solution in which salt is dissolved in water, what is the salute? Salute, Seth. Salt. Salt is right, and whoa, baby, hold on tight. Hold on tight. Yeah, students are all smiling. They should be. What a start to the game for them. Teachers, also a great start for you guys as well. Man, it's fun, and I'm not stopping this train right now. It's a change of pace. I think we should send someone to detention. <laughs> Teachers, you're going to start here. So teams, put your buzzers down. You guys are going to work together as one here. Here's how detention works. I'll give the trailing team a category. As a team, you'll have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to do one of the two, play or pass. Choose to play. You answer the question correctly. You get to send somebody else on the opposite side to detention. Look at that spot over there. It looks great. If you get it wrong, be careful, because you could end up there yourself. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same exact elimination rules apply. 40 points. On the board here for this round, students, you're up 90 to 30, so we're firing it over here to teachers. You guys get the first category. Greek mythology, pass or play? If you don't love it, pass it over to the students. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pass. Here you go, guys, Greek mythology, and judging by the look on Julio, not a good category for him. <laughs> Who is the Greek god of the underworld? You can talk about it. Oh. Hades. Hades is right, and there they go. They jumped in there. You guys knew it right off the bat. You looked like you didn't want it, and then you were like, give it to me. I want all of it. I want all of it. Guys, the pass hurts you three, but 
Students, you get to send one of your teachers to detention. How great is this? Who gave me detention? <laughs> yeah, who gave Julio the last detention? Hawk. Hawk. We're gonna send Miss Hawk. Miss Hawk out of the game. There she is, English teacher. First one in detention, Miss Hawk. Get comfortable. You could be there for a little while. Students, category goes back to you guys. They passed, so you hold on to it. Here you go. Science. We're going to play. Here you go. What antibiotic was discovered by scientist Alexander Fleming and is now used to treat infections? You can talk about it. <laughs> uh, love a good snort. Try it, try it. Listen. Insulin? That was a good guess, guys, but we were looking for penicillin oh. was the right answer. <laughs> Hopefully you guys got that one right at home. And teachers, how about it? You guys get to fire right back here. We have Jackie, Seth, and Julio. Who's going to detention? Jackie. Jackie. Jackie, team captain. <laughs> All right, there it is. <laughs> How about this one? Because I'll tell you, the look on your guys' faces, you're like, oh no, we just lost we our lost anchor. Our <laughs> yeah, we just lost our anchor. Okay, teachers, the category goes back to you guys. And who doesn't love this? Category is food. You want to do it? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll play. Ice cream of the future is the slogan of what tasty treat created in 1988 by flash freezing ice cream into tiny pellets with liquid nitrogen? What are those little things? Oh my, um, I can't get them. Yeah, the, the little bites. Three things. seconds. Is it Dippin' Dots? There it is, under pressure. <laughs> Nicely done. They go, I have no idea, and then come out with that one. So good job, guys. And you get to send one of these two. Is it Julio or Seth? Seth's mom's here, so should we leave Seth here? We'll leave Seth and Seth's mom's here. Oh, Seth's Julio. mom's here, so he's staying in the game. <laughs> That's the... <laughs> Parents are at home going, what do you mean we're watching? <laughs> All right, bud, you join detention. And Seth, how about this, man? Look at this. You're on the foul line. So the game is on your fingertips. You can win it or just stay alive. Here you go. Category, you might like this one, sports. Play. OK. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms are the minor league team for what Philadelphia professional sports team? Baseball. Incorrect, couldn't do it. You gotta put the ice skates on because it's the Flyers, baby. You missed that one, Seth. How about this? You're on your way to detention. Miss Hawk, you are officially out. We got a game on our hands, guys. 70 points for our teachers, 90 points for our students who are still in the lead. You guys, you stay in detention. You guys go to a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to study hall. You know the funky chicken? It's where you just funky it up like this. Pow! They're getting better. I'll tell you what, throughout this season, my dance moves have improved slightly. Welcome back to the classroom. On the show today, it's the students and teachers. They're going head to head. Foundation Collegiate Academy in Trenton, New Jersey. That one's fun to say. They're home of the Knights. Let's meet some of our Knights here. Jackie, it's good to see you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. She gets to decide where 500's going. Where's that going to go? Going to Teacher Appreciation Week. That's a fantastic place to put it. <laughs> I've never had students say, we're going to win the money, and then we're going to give it back to our teachers. Why are you doing that? Our teachers are the best. They're really? so supportive, so caring. I, the best part about As foundation. a teacher, my heart's warm right now. I got to give you a high five, girl. You're incredible. I love that. Seth, he's an 11th grader. You, uh, you, he's doing amazing things. You might have seen a little talk around town here from a man, Seth. He's got a community program that's blowing up. Tell us about that. Uh, it's called United Front. Uh, it's co-founded by two other classmates that aren't here right now. And we're working in Trenton to like join the community together and we're working with a bunch of nonprofits yeah. and it's getting recognition a lot. Dude, that's incredible, man. How are things going? It's pretty good. Uh, we had a we have a news article in the Trenton Daily. Let's go. All right, man. There you go. Now you're talking about it on Fox 29, baby. Julio down at the end, my man. They call you the legend. He's a 12th grader. <laughs> and look, he's got a little bit of senioritis going, but you got big plans next year. That's right. Uh, 
this fall, I'll be t attending Tufts University. Beautiful, dude. What are you majoring in? Majoring in film. Okay, solid, man. Look, now you got one heck of a demo reel right here. It starts, man. <laughs> guys, 500 on the line. Good luck, baby. Good luck. And look at these guys. The challengers ready to rock. Miss Bradshaw, 500 for the teachers. If you win it, where's it going? Uh, we're going to put it towards the school garden. Oh, nice. Tell these guys what you do. I'm an environmental science teacher. She's like, so she gets 500. She's like, guys, we're making a garden. <laughs> That's exactly what you'd think you'd make. Uh, you just had a magical year. Let me say congratulations. Thank you. What happened? Um, I actually am a Disney fanatic, and I just got engaged in Epcot this Let's year. Let's go. OK. <laughs> Solid. Miss Stone, you're pretty magical as well. You got a you're chemistry teacher. Uh, you grew up on a pretty cool place. I did. I grew up in Indiana and on a farm. And w now you're back in Philly where the roots were? No, I was, I'm from there, and I'm a transplant here, but I've been here about <laughs> more than 10 years, and I love it here. How's your green thumb? Is it pretty good? Um, no. You can tend that garden <laughs> if you do. All right. Uh, Miss Hawk, English teacher. I am so enthralled with what you do. You're an art enthusiast. Tell me about your art obsession. I am. So I love painting. I love any kind of art. And Bradshaw and I actually leave an, lead an art advisory homeroom group that's really doing some great stuff. That's awesome. See, now like it's too nice. Like Now I feel bad. Keep continuing this game because usually we're going to send some to attention. The good news is I don't have to now because it's time for study hall. Here's how the game works. Each team will select one player from the opposing team to enter study hall. Those two players will have 10 seconds. That's it. No longer 10 seconds to study a photo. I'm going to ask three questions about the photo one at a time. You'll have five seconds to write down your answers on the chalkboard. You get it right. Boom! 10 points on to your score. It's tight right now. Students 90, teachers 70. Look across the hall, guys. Who's going into study hall? Five seconds. Both sides. Teachers. We're going to send Julio. Julio versus students. <laughs> Who's going in? Stone. Let's go. Stone, Julio. We're going to detention. Excuse me, study hall. Look, I want to send someone in there. Get in here, guys. All right. Get comfortable on both sides. You feeling confident? Yes. All right. You think you got this round then, huh? I might just. All right. Yeah. Julio, good luck. Tufts is watching. They will cancel your admission. <laughs> 10 seconds on the clock, guys. Let's put up that photo. All right, take down the shot. Shout out to Alex's parents. Thanks for that photo of the dining room. Great job, Mrs. Alex. All right, remember, you have five seconds to write your answers down. Here is your first question, guys. How many chairs are seen around the table? Okay, reveal your answers. Miss Stone, you said five and wrote it above the line because she's a teacher, follows directions. <laughs> Julio over here is also set five, wrote it under the line, and that's what we expect from our students. But both sides, did you get it right? Five chairs, both sides get it right. There it is. Okay, next chalkboard. Julio, do that one more time, and you are off the show. What Italian word is on the wall? Good luck. Reveal your answers. Miss Stone says, Mangia. Manja, Julio says, under the line again, Manja, the correct answer. Manja, both get it right. Another 10 points. What do, you, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? Right here. Yeah, there it is. The See, listen to your teachers. Two utensils are hanging on the wall. A spoon and a what else? Good luck. Both sides had it right, the first question, the second question. Let's reveal your answers. Fork and thank goodness, Julio. <laughs> fork. Was it fork? That's exactly right. Both sides stay perfect through study hall. Nicely done on both ends of the table. Teachers, 100. Students, 120. And we're not done yet, because when we come back, the iPads are going in. We're listening to some tunes. Followed by the all-important final exam. The classroom is still in session when we come back. See you right back. You know the beat? Lead it. Hey. Hey, it's almost prom season, man. We got to keep it up. All right, welcome back to the classroom. Today, we have students and teachers. What a game from Foundation Collegiate Academy. They're from Mercer County, New Jersey. They made their way into Philly today. How about these scores? Pretty tight here. Students, 120. Teachers 100, and you have these teachers every day. Who's your favorite up there? Who are you cheering for? 
I would definitely say my favorite teacher is Miss Bradshaw because she knows a lot. She cares about the environment. She cares about all of us at Foundation. Let's and, go. I love that. Yeah. Man, see, and she's crying now. Just in case you want to see, <laughs> that's what tears like out of teachers, man. It just touches us with the students. And look at this. Talk about a student with a little bit of move around that school. We call her El Presidente because what do you do? I'm the um, school's National Honor, so National Honor Society president. That's incredible. Do you get voted that? Yeah. And you were like, guys, vote for me because I'm awesome? Yeah. Well, good to see you guys. Guess what? This game continues because we're singing our way into music class. Yeah. All right, friends. Teams, grab your buzzers. You guys are going to need them this round. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. You sing them all the time, but do you know them? I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then we bring in the man. Mike Jarek from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia. He's going to do his part. He's going to read a small portion of those lyrics. If you know them, buzz in. Correctly answer my question. You're going to win 10 points for your team. If you buzz in, you get it incorrect. Your whole team stays locked out for that question. The other side has a chance to buzz in and steal. We have three sets of lyrics today from all different gens. Generations, by the way, that's short. See how trendy I am, Jackie? <laughs> that's, that's trendy, huh? Cool. All right, here we go. She's like, no, no, you're a nerd. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2017 song? Mike, welcome to the show. All right, Richard. This one's kind of telling. Not maybe about me. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, you were the one. Ooh, ooh that could finally fix me. Looking at my history, I'm bad at love. Thanks, Mike. First one in, Miss Bradshaw. Halsey. Halsey, bad at love, yes! <laughs> Teacher strike 110. You guys are 10 points from tying this game here. <laughs> Students, they jumped on the question there. We'll see how you guys do with question number two. Good luck here, guys. What band? sings these lyrics in a 2013 song that became a Billboard hit. Okay, number two. But baby, I've been, I've been praying hard. Said no more counting dollars. We'll be counting stars. Students first to go in there, Seth. Is it 21 Pilots? Incorrect, teachers for the steal. Everybody's looking at Miss Bradshaw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, guys, we were looking for one Republic counting stars. And now everyone's like, yes, I knew that. All right, we'll tell you what. Teachers, we have one question left. You can tie this game going into the final exam. Students, you can take a 20 point lead. This question is vital. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2016 hit song? Mike, this is a big one. Hit me with the grand finale. All right, for the last one, I have a favor. Just put your pinky rings up to the moon. Girls, what y'all trying to do? 24 karat magic in the air. Miss Bradshaw, first to buzz in, can tie the game. It's Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars is right, yes. Teachers, that is huge, huge. That's a big thanks to Mike Jarek for that performance. Hey, the audience is loving it and they should be. You know why? It's 120 for the teachers, 120 for our students, and we are done. We are going to the final exam. Let's play. The topic of today's final exam, mateys, is pirates. I'm sorry. I'm going to ask both teams two questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. Guys, during commercial break, I want you to sail the high seas. You're going to put your brains together, and you're going to write down your answers. But first, I want you to take in these questions. Good luck. In the MLB, the Pirates represent what city? Question number two, Pirates. Gamers set sail as Edward Kenway and encounter legendary pirates in the Black Flag installment of what video game franchise? Tough middle question there. Let's follow this up with the grand finale once again. Here we go, guys. This one is worth 100 points. What is the three word name of the cunning pirate with one leg and a pet parrot in the Robert Louis Stevenson book, Treasure Island? Tough questions today. Each team, 60 seconds on the clock. They look lost, but maybe they're just playing head games right now. 
or will Bradshaw and the rest of her teachers complete the comeback and win this thing? There's only one way to find out, and that's to come back after the break, and we'll settle this thing once and for all. But I want you here, guys. So you may not be able to make it today, but tomorrow could be your day. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Okay, welcome back, guys. Today, students and teachers from Foundation Collegiate Academy are going head to head. Scores 120, 120. We're wasting no time. Final exam topic Pirates. How well you know them? We're going to find out. Here we go, guys. In the MLB, the Pirates represent what city? Teachers, we're going to start with you. Miss Hawk, you said Pittsburgh. There's 100 points, getting you up to 220. Julio, did you say Pittsburgh? Yes, sir. There it is. We're back to back. <laughs> Gamers set sail as Edward Kenway and encounter legendary pirates in the Black Flag installment of what video game franchise? Miss Stone, you said. We love our students. I love your students too. You didn't know it? That's okay. Here you go, Seth, to take the lead here. Assassin's Creed. That's right. There you go. Hey. Get ready, because if you get this one correct, the game is over. Students celebrate. Here we go. What is the three-word name of the cunning pirate with one leg, a pet parrot, in the Robert Louis Stevenson book, Treasure Island, for the win? Can they do it? Long John Silver. They did it! Oh, oh, my God. God. Let's go oh, the students! Get out of here! Seth, get your buddy! What a game on the classroom! Thanks for being here, everybody! We're celebrating this win for the students, and we'll see you next time on the show.